everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl Harleen J and Belle <laughs> this is how the only way I could get Belle to stay on my lap because she wants to get down and I wanted you guys to see her so guys as of this month um, in January Belle hit six months so I wanted to give you guys a six month update on Belle and how she's been doing with her training and just her whole development as a puppy overall so as you can already see Belle I have to get this toy here in order for her to stay she's just so independent now um, she's not as clingy or maybe I guess you can say she's um, no she's not as clingy she knows her way around uh, my apartment and she just goes and does her own thing sometimes which it's a little scary because if a puppy goes somewhere and does their own thing and you won't see them for a while, it's because they're up to no good. So every time I got to go look to see what she's doing or I have to call her back and I'm like, get over here so you can be in eyes view, girl. I got to see you. I got to see you. But yes, yeah, so Belle is six months. She lost all of her baby teeth. Um, she has all her adult teeth, like literally all of them. She lost all her baby teeth and they were falling out every day. Every day I would find one. Every day I would find one on the floor and um, she has all of her big girl's teeth now. Um, her vet said that she actually got her all of her teeth really early um, and said that she progressed like really fast for her age and her size. Speaking of size, Belle is 7.8 pounds now, guys. Like before, when I first got Belle at eight weeks, she was 1.7 pounds. And that is crazy to believe that this girl grew so fast and under. I got her at um, two months and she's six months now. So in four months, she has grew so much. She is um, 7.8 pounds now I believe she should get a bit bigger because like her vets her vet not her vet sorry her breeder told me that she was gonna get between 8 to 10 pounds so I don't believe she's gonna get 10 pounds but maybe um, 8 pounds I can see that happening 8 pounds maybe even close to 9 so this is how big Belle is now like look Sorry, mama. She's like, put me down. <laughs> She's such a big girl. If you go back and look at the video of when I got her, you can see that she has drastically um, grew bigger. Like, she's changed so much. Um, she's a big girl now. We go to the dog park. I try to take her, like, every week. And you just see her chasing dogs around and doing a lot. So let's talk about training and guys to be honest I have not really stuck to Belle's training but because she is so smart poodles are so smart and she is so smart she just picks up on like regular things that I say to her on a regular so like let let for example like get down she knows what that means and I didn't teach her that I didn't have to give her a treat of what that means it's just that if she's on the couch and I don't want her on the couch and I tell her to get down, she'll get down. Like she just knows, like she just picks up on like certain things that I say and she knows what it means. And that just makes it a lot easier for me because I didn't have to take time out of my day to really teach her get down, you know, with the whole treat. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot more I really have to do with her. I know you guys see her videos and you're like, oh my gosh, Belle is so trained. And you know, how do you get that? It's really just repetition. I'm home. I work from home every day. So I'm home with her every day, every day, every day, every day. She goes with me everywhere. So it's really a lot of repetition and stuff that she hear me say to her all the time. Like, get down, get down. Like also like her favorite word and you're gonna see her reaction when she does this is chicken jerky yeah you want chicken jerky <laughs> she loves chicken jerky <laughs> she loves chicken jerky um which is what is it uh it's it's dried chicken jerky and she loves that if i say that word chicken jerky 
She'll look at me and be like, where is it? Where is it? And now she's like, okay, mama. She's looking at my chapstick. That's why she's looking at my face so much. And she knows where to go get it because she has her own little cabinet section and she knows where to get it. And I don't even have to tell her to lie down for it. She'll lie down. She will lie down immediately um, for it. And she's like, okay, I know you're gonna tell me to lie down, so I'm lying down. Um, so yeah, it's just like things like that she's picking up on. Um, it's just so much things. Uh, she's she's getting so so much bigger. And it's also about that time for Belle to get spayed. She actually has an appointment to get spayed, um, I believe, um, this week. She has an appointment to get spayed this week. Um, so she will be getting spayed. It's about that time. We had a time frame where her vet to get her spayed around um, six months and she hit that and I'm a little nervous for her um, For her to get spayed because I also haven't I haven't never had any major surgery at all um, I got my teeth pulled, but I've never gotten any major surgery where I had to go under anesthesia so I just I, I don't know what to expect for her and um, so I'm a little nervous about that, but I know I'll get through it, you know, just a little nervous because I just don't want to see her in like any pain at all. Um, what else? What else, Miss Madam? What else? What else is new about you in six months? She's even more playful now. Like she plays, she plays rough. Like it's to a point where I have to be like, girl, give me a break. Give me five minutes. Give me five minutes because she plays rough and she can go. She can go all day. She can go all day and she's just, um, when I first got her, Belle couldn't even get up on the couch. She couldn't get up on the bed. She couldn't get down. Now she can get up with th like this and she can get down like this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, see? Like, and she's so much stronger, guys. She is. So much stronger and she's just i don't know she's a big girl at six months and i'm just like my baby's growing big my baby's growing big and she plays favorites now like i know i'm her mama but when new people come around like my like my family or my friends she don't even remember me anymore she's just like girl i got new friends now i got new people to play with it's just me and her at home all the time <laughs> This is why I try to take her to a dog park um, just to get her active. Um, also, um, also recently I took Belle to the vet and her doctor, her vet believed that she had, may have gone into her first heat cycle, which her vet said can happen early with smaller dogs. Like I did notice she had some blood down there when, when I was um, rubbing her belly one time. And I thought maybe she got injured because I was like, she's too young to go in her first heat cycle. But then um, I brought her to the vet and her vet said no. She went into her first heat cycle and it could happen with smaller dogs. So um, yeah, that wasn't bad at all because I didn't really notice and I didn't really see anything um, in terms of like blood on the ground or anything like that. So uh, that's why we get her spade. So we don't have to see that, right? So yeah, she went into her first heat cycle. Um, also, she got her big girl cut. As you guys can see, Belle was um, a lot fluffier. <laughs> she was so fluffy. People used to call her a cotton ball or like a chicken nugget. Now she looks more like a poodle now, like a big girl poodle. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, she's eating her eating wise uh, you know when they get older they just start eating a lot less like like when they're puppies you feed them like four times a day let's say that and then when they get older the feeding goes down to two times a day so she eats in the morning and she doesn't really finish all of her food that I put in the morning for her so she will tend to eat that a little bit towards on like close to the afternoon and then um, she'll eat again in the evening and she does not finish that either so then at night before she goes to bed 
um, whatever she has left in the bowl, I would put in a crate for her so she can just have something to eat throughout the night. And she always, 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 always finish it before bed. Always. Like, she's like, I'm hungry now. So she eats it before bed. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot one thing. Belle is also traveling now. Belle has been on the plane um, three times already. Yeah, Belle has been on the plane three times. She's done road trips with me and um, she does really well on the plane. Like, um, I just put her on her bag and she's underneath the chair and she does not make a peep. She sleeps on the plane all day she is so good she's just so good every time we i bring her on the um when i bring her and i'm walking her through the airport well she's usually in her bag through the airport but she pops her head out people always tell me how good she is and how like literally people don't even realize she's there if she doesn't pop her head out because she's just so quiet on the plane she doesn't make noise um which is good right but Thank you guys for clicking to watch this video. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for those who have subscribed. I surpassed 500 subscribers and that's just amazing to see the support. And those of you who um, who commented and said that, um, that I have helped you with some of the training, I'm happy to see that as well. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And Hit the notification bell for more uploads of me and Belle and stay tuned for more videos. Bye guys.